If you're looking for reliable money drop services for GTA Online, look no further than Digizani, where they offer many, many services. Just be sure to use code JACO for 5% off at checkout. What's up guys, it's Jayco and welcome back to another GTA Online video. Today we're going to be talking about the Criminal Enterprise update, which yes, came out already almost a month ago, or probably already all over a month ago, but the payout buff that they did to the original heist and the Doomsday heists, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. For literally years now, I've been talking about Rockstar should be updating these old pieces of content like heists and uh, adversary modes and contact missions and buffing the payouts because it, just having that old content there just taking up space is completely useless and uh, like a total waste of resources you spend hours and months and probably years of development developing these heists and then they finally you know updated the payout system so they're a little bit more worth it but i think that they could be a little bit better still but then again they are for brand new players and if you are a veteran player that has a ton of money and wants to do them anyways cool you get a 75 percent increased payout so i applaud rockstar it was a fantastic idea and they did it pretty well Though I think it should have been a little bit more of a payout buff. On screen right now, I will show you all of the payout changes and their new increase changes right here. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to hang on to it for yourself. Uh, you can check out the Reddit page and see all the payout changes whenever you want. And on top of that, they made an adversary mode payout change. I believe it was a 50% increase, which still isn't that great. Now, when double or even triple money come around, these will be really, really worth it. Getting double money for the pack standard heist, making uh, almost four and a half or well over four and a half million dollars would be kind of insane. And each person getting a million bucks is quite awesome. Though the KO Perico can kind of already do that, that would be really cool for pack standard. I would definitely go back maybe with some friends if that ever became double money again and do that. As well as our adversary mounts getting triple money instead of, you know, a measly 30 grand every 15 minutes, you'll be getting 60, 90 grand every 15 minutes. But that's just an example. These new agency and MC contract missions, the payphone hit missions, where you can receive like a hundred grand almost for like each of these missions doing like five, ten minutes of work, definitely still outshines adversary modes by a mile. And of course, with the old heist, relying on four people total and having to join session from free roam, free roam lobbies to the setup missions to the to the heist missions and having the chance to lag out or someone you know ends up quitting is still incredibly frustrating to deal with especially if you're a solo player but if you're a solo player save up 2.2 million dollars get yourself a summary and do some ko perico it's it's still easily the best way to make money ko perico even after the quote nerfs that rockstar did to increase the cooldown for the heist itself i would love to see rockstar buff some old businesses and some other things like that the bunker the hangar i know that they increased a little bit on the expanded enhanced versions of the game which was actually kind of awesome the uh coca-cola lab got a, a quite a bit of an increase in as well i think uh another business or two i can't remember it off the top of my head but increases on old content like that to make them worth it are awesome though i still will never do the coca-cola lab because the cell missions you need four people unless you purposely only make it one person to sell amount it's so it's so complicated i don't even like doing it anymore because Dealing with four motorcycles in 30 minutes is just not something a solo player like myself can really do. Another thing I would love to see is survival mode. The survival mode was one of my favorite back in the day on Xbox 360. It was so cool to go to the Boneyard survival and you could go into that glitch spot and make it to wave 10 with no issue whatsoever. I remember my friends and I going AFK and taking turns making so much money, but nowadays it doesn't honestly make all that much money. And with the endless round game modes now, I think there should be like a, a better increased amount of money that you should be getting. I honestly don't even know how much money you can make from a survival, but it's not that much. Maybe after wave 10, you make like 100k total. And then after that, you get a cash bonus every single wave you complete. Maybe like 10 grand per wave or something that you complete because those can take an, a really really long time especially if you have four players maybe if you're only solo you get a five thousand percent or five thousand dollar increase per round and then it just it incrementally gets bigger over more players 
But the payout buff overall is amazing on Rockstar's point because making that old content actually a little bit more worth playing is awesome. I've always talked about it and I think they should, instead of vaulting all the old adversary modes and races and stuff like that, just increase the payouts. Though, people will still probably not play them because competitive game modes in this game are just absolutely toxic and cancerous i i, I completely understand but to make them more worth it at least heist wise is awesome and maybe increase the buffs on you know some old businesses i would like to see that for sure and especially with the criminal enterprises some of the businesses did kind of get buffed already where you can get uh, your crates um, picked up for you and some new MC club stuff there's a bunch of new stuff that you can do kind of like cell mission wise little baby cell missions for 50k here and there which is awesome let me know about your thoughts below in this increased payout because honestly until now I really forgot about it and I didn't even I didn't even think about it honestly doing an old heist or something like that or just any of the buffs game modes overall so let me know what you guys think down below with a comment and uh yeah be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new and turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace